What to do, y'all? It's your boy King Ed the Great coming at y'all with another video. So it appears that 50 Cent lost the In the Club lawsuit to Rick Ross. Now, how this started, Ross used the In the Club beat on his Renzel mixtape in 2015. And 50, trying to be petty, tried to sue him. But what a lot of people didn't know, and this is why he lost the case, 50 didn't even own the song. He signed away his rights to the song. This is one thing that's crazy about this industry is when you see stuff like this occurring, you get to really see who owns what and who controls what. I personally didn't know that 50 Cent signed the rights of In The Club away. And Rick Ross right now, he's, he's celebrating right now. This is like a victory for him. But... This goes to show you right there that despite 50 being such a shrewd businessman that he had to take some losses himself. And this is his biggest club banger and he don't even own it. Let that sink in for a minute. And this is a result of trying to be petty. And you know what? I'm glad that Ross won this case because this would have really created a serious domino effect in hip hop because of now you can't really use mixtapes because people are suing now. You can't use mixtape material because people are suing. I'm glad that Ross won this for, for that matter. Not because of the fact that we're rooting for Ross. I don't really have a dog in this fight. But at the same time, a lot of people will try to follow suit. So this is where it stands right now. It's getting to the point where he will have to pressure Shady Aftermath to, to persuade this lawsuit because 50 don't have no rights on the song. Basically, he got to ask Eminem and Jimmy Iovine to push the lawsuit. That's what it seems like to me. So right now, Rick Ross is getting the last laugh. So we're going to see where this goes. So subscribe, hit the like button, holler at your boy.